Anthony's going to have a special guest joining us here this week on the program. We're going to have uh, a doctor come in. We're going to uh, kind of go change gears a little bit. And Dr. Keith Nichols of uh, Tier 1 Health and Wellness in Chattanooga is going to be joining us. So that's pretty cool. So stick around. We're going to do a short uh, little segment here about finance. And then we're going to jump into that conversation as well. And Anthony, I really just wanted to kick this off with something I saw on the news. It's kind of funny. I wanted to get your take on it. Of the 400 people that seem to be running for president right now, <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, we've got one named Andrew Yang, uh, who is uh, touting this freedom dividend. Have you heard about this thing? I have not. <laughs> well, it is. Uh, he wants to give every American household $1,000 per month if he gets elected. That's right. I did hear about Do that. Do the math on that. You're talking about uh, somewhere between two and a half and three, what is that, trillion dollars a year? Yep. Well, is this just, just is this just trying to like, hey, vote for me kind of thing? This is not even possible. You know, look, Mark, this stuff like this gets started every single time there's an election, right? Yeah. And, you know, it is just totally vote for me, trying to get people out to vote, to give them money. There's no way from a financial standpoint that's going to work. That, that's one-fifth uh, of the GDP. Uh, that's yeah, that's one-fifth of the GDP. Crazy. It's absolutely insane. There's no way it would ever be. We There's no way we'd ever be able to pay Couldn't for it. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. And, and so, no, that's just political talk. Uh, you know, another thing that always happens, and it probably hasn't come out on the news yet, but you're going to hear it. Look, if you if you vote for so and so, they're gonna ex- they're gonna go through all of your social security money and spend it. That's another that's another I don't even know the word we can use on Ms. the radio. Misnomer. <laughs> <laughs> misnomer. <laughs> that's another misnomer, yeah. It it just isn't true. Look, folks, we, we print money. Uh, on a printing press. Nothing is backed up by the gold standard anymore. We know under the Obama administration they come in and passed a stimulus package that funded trillions of dollars right back into the financial institutions. So if they've passed a stimulus package that funded the financial institutions, they're going to pass a stimulus package that's going to fund the Social Security Department. So that that just isn't going to be, it isn't going to happen. And whoever this candidate is that's saying he's going to give everybody a thousand dollars, whatever, that, that it isn't going to work. Well, you know, I, I, just, I was just going to ask you, what are you going to do with your thousand dollars a month? <laughs> uh, but yeah. you know, actually, but I will mention one more one more thing before we switch out and switch gears to the doc here is that uh, earlier this week the Fed did cut the rate again. Uh, earlier on Wednesday uh, afternoon. Uh, early this week, they dropped the uh, the interest rate another quarter point. So be curious to see how that plays out moving forward. Any thoughts on that? Yeah, I, I anytime rates go down, uh, that's always good for the economy. The Feds do that to kind of throw a little gasoline on the fire. If if the economy is smoking hot and they hit the brakes, they raise rates. That kind of cools things down. So you saw the Fed this week step up to the plate, cut rates. That means the economy is going to continue to be strong, and that means the economy is going to continue to be good. Now, you know, we got some crazy stuff going on with bombing oil wells and all kinds of stuff well, like that. Yeah. Who knows how that's going to affect everything? But uh, well, there's a lot other of, than that. I I think it's going to be a strong. Economy. Well, there's I guess there's two there's two kind of camps in this, and that one is that. Um, that uh, Trump is playing this devaluation game with China because they're trying to devalue their currency for the trade bargaining. So he's been asking the Fed to drop the rate for that. Others saying they kind of want to spurn on the fourth quarter shopping because so much of our economy is predicated on people spending money through the fourth quarter. So it'll be curious to see some of the ripple effects uh, of that. Now, as you know, it wasn't too much since they announced that uh, rate cut. So we'll see how it plays out in the weeks ahead. But anyway, that's our in the news. That's our opening segment here on the program. As always, if you want to get a complimentary consultation, customized review of your own situation, Anthony's Financial GPS, you can call the number as always and come in for that review anytime. 888-557-1993 is the number to call. We are going to change gears. We're going to talk with the doc here in just a minute. And so we're going to just kind of talk more from more a uh, Uh, I guess a health and wellness side uh, just to change things up a little bit here on the program. So stick around. Dr. Keith Nichols will be joining us right after this. Extra, extra, read all about it. Well, it's time for In the News here on Retire the Right Way. It's a little bumper just indicated. This is where I try to grab a headline or two making its way around the interwebs and the news channels and things of that nature. And, of course, that can be dangerous in today's 
uh, a society. It seems like you got to be careful what you talk about in the news, but we keep it on the financial aspect. We don't try to get any near any some of that other stuff that makes its way around. <laughs> but uh, here on In the News this week, Anthony, actually, I, I wanted to talk about this. I saw this uh, earlier this week. After losing almost 90% of its value over the last 12 months, Sears, their stock is now trading below a buck, mm. a whole dollar. So does that say anything to you about the economy when an icon giant like Sears, I guess used to be, cannot survive in this current strong economy? Or does that say something different to you? Well, I don't know really if it says anything about the economy. I mean, honestly, Mark, we're, the economy's on fire right now. I mean, look, you, you'd have to be an ostrich with your head buried in the sand. <laughs> I, I, I mean, the economy itself is really booming. I think it's a, a change of buying habits. I think you're, you're, we're seeing more people go on the Internet now. Oh, Amazon's buy things killing on everybody, internet. yeah. Amazon's killing everybody. You're seeing Walmart make the move to online you're seeing a lot of stores retail stores make the move to online purchasing um the other one thing that i would tell you here is is this is a prime example of why you do not want to retire from a company and depend on that pension oh good point yeah yeah because i mean look who in the world would have ever thought that sears would would tank and be below a dollar in closing up stores and filing bankruptcy and Kmart buying them. I mean, who would have ever well, foreseen Yeah, Kmart's that? gone, right? They're, yeah, they're Kmart's gone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, who would have ever thought that was coming? So if you'd worked all these years with Sears and you had all your money in that Sears stock, you'd be you'd be SOL. Sorry, out of luck. I mean, and and the same. You know, we saw that happen with Enron. We saw that happen with WorldCom. Uh, G- so, GE. I mean, yeah. these are staple giant companies that we've grown up with forever and ever oh do you, totally and uh, and you know that's why you've really got to work with somebody that's fiduciary and be on your toes and and know that a fiduciary person would have caught that a fiduciary person would have caught hey you understand you're a hundred percent in this sears stock uh, i caught one just just about uh, two two or three weeks ago they had a hundred percent of their retirement in this company stock and i was like hey uh, as i mentioned earlier hey we got to separate the emotions you might like this company and you might like love this company and you might have worked for them for the past 30 years but this is a dangerous situation yeah and so thankfully they listened to us and and we were able to help them but yeah i don't i don't think it's a bad economy mark i I think you know i think the economy is really booming i think it's just the way consumers are are buying nowadays and i think they're they're going to that online presence and i must be honest with you my wife and i it's 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 (laughs) I'm on the Amazon train. Baby. Well, when's the last? I was gonna say, you know, honestly, when's the last time? Ask yourself, when's the last time you shopped at Sears, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Same thing with uh, Toys R Us. They price themselves right out of the out of the toy game. I mean, you could go into a Toys R Us, you know, a few, uh, you know, a year or so before they closed up shop. And you could get the same stuff at Walmart for considerably less. And I think that's what happens to a lot of these companies is they're not evolving with their, their the market. And I don't mean the stock market. I mean the marketplace for buying things, right? Right. So, you know. Yeah. And I, and, I, you know, and I think, I think once again, I think Toys R Us was a great idea. I think it was a great concept. But I think you're seeing so many people switch to that online now. Right. And you're and seeing cheaper. a lot of I mean, it's just cheaper on Amazon it's just, or Walmart. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's just cheaper. If you're, if you're Amazon Prime, the shipping is free. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, I mean, that's just where everybody's going. You don't have to fight the crowds. I mean, good grief on what do they call that thing? Black Friday after Thanksgiving. Oh, they all, yeah, they all do it online now too. So yeah, Cyber yeah. Monday and what Cyber Monday. Yeah. yeah. So you're you're just seeing a lot of a lot of people make like that said, shift. Yeah, so change in the I don't market. think it's a bad economy. Yeah, I was gonna say, like I said, change in the market buying habits of the population really. I yeah, but I'll tell you, I'll tell you this much. That is a great example of even though we have a very strong economy, things can happen. Things can happen. And, and if you don't get a fiduciary working for you, you can find yourself in bad trouble. Well, there you go, folks. That's our In the News segment here on Retire the Right Way this week. More to come on the program. Stick around. Dr. Keith Nichols will be joining us right after this. It's time for a Tennessee tidbit. Do you know what corn mash is? Well, if you do, I bet you also know some of its other names, like moonshine, white lightning and mule i bet that has a kick yep corn mash is homemade whiskey and it's still used as an ingredient today sometimes in one of tennessee's top exports from old gentleman jack well we're back here for the second quarter of retire the right way with anthony wright 
founder and CEO at Retirement Specialty Group, 888-557-1993. Your number to call for a complimentary, no cost, no obligation consultation and financial GPS with the team at Retirement Specialty Group. And as I mentioned earlier, if you're just now joining us and you didn't hear it, we have a special guest. We're going to do a little health and wellness section this week on the program. Dr. Keith Nichols of Tier 1 Health and Wellness in, in Chattanooga is going to be joining us. So, Anthony, I'll let you take it away. Doc, welcome in. How are you guys? Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, it's good to be with you. And, and you know, look, here's here's the thing, Mark. A lot of times people may say, why, why on a financial show, why would you bring a doctor talking health and wellness? Why not? Well, well, why not, right? We're supposed to be health financially. We're supposed to be healthy financially. So why not be healthy healthy in our in our physical body too, right? Absolutely. So so uh, Dr. Keith Nichols is, is here with us in studio today. He's a personal friend. He is my personal doctor. I felt from a fiduciary standpoint, because at Retirement Specialty Group, we do operate from a fiduciary standpoint, and I felt that it was fiduciarily right to bring him in. He's, he has absolutely changed my life from a personal standpoint. He's changed my wife's life from a personal standpoint. Now, a lot of the listeners are, are probably quite a bit older than, than you and I, Mark. I, I know you just had a birthday. Happy birthday to you, by Thank the way. Thank you bud. very much. Yeah. And I know you turned 48. I'm turning 50 next month. And Ooh, my wife you got me is, beat. Uh, yeah. I won't tell you how old my wife is. If she wants no, to know, no. I'll let her tell yeah, you. Yeah, you'll so. get in trouble for that. <laughs> but anyway, I've got Dr. Keith Nichols sitting here with us in studio. And uh, Dr. Nichols is, is uh, he, he, he's world-renowned, right? I mean, you got people flying in all around the world to, we do. We do. to, 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 to see you. I know you've had several people come in from Australia and we Austria. Have. and We have. All kinds of Taiwan, places. You, you name it. Yeah. yeah, so you're literally world renowned. And uh, just just a little quick personal testimony on myself. I went to my family checkup physician, and uh, I, I don't know, it's it's been now about a year ago, hasn't it? And um, I told him, I said, you know, I'm just kind of feeling a little uh, down. And he checked my hormones, and my hormones were all out of whack. And so I found Dr. Nichols and, and his wife, uh, Miss Angie, and they they do bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. And Dr. Nichols has done, he's worked a lot, and I'll, I'll, I'll shut up and let him tell us here. Yeah, as I say, tell us a little about <laughs> what that is. He, yeah. he, he's, done, he's done a lot with uh, Tennessee Titans. He's done a lot with the UFC fighters. He's done a lot with uh, the Nashville Predators. And with all that, I'll shut up and... Uh, and let Dr. Nichols come in and talk to you. But I will say this before I turn it turn it over to him. I just got back from my doctor today, and a year later, I am down 32 pounds. Yeah, nice. Congratulations. And that is because of Dr. Nichols and his wife, Angie, and, and getting, getting my hormones leveled out. So, Doc, welcome to the show, my friend. Well, thank you, Anthony. You look great. Uh, a big difference in a year can make, isn't it? Thank you. Yeah, big difference. That's right. Well, I think what you're finally finding out is that good health is uh, your most important investment. You know, mm -hmm. the logic that underlies financial retirement planning is well established and widely accepted, but unfortunately not many begin planning for their health retirement uh, and using the same logic, which is to start early uh, while you're healthy and young and, and uh, you know, let it, do, let it do the work as you age. Now, you did, you did some work with the Titans, right? Tennessee I did, Titans? I did. I did. A couple of years with the Titans there. One of their uh, uh, Tennessee years. Titans, I think Nashville Predators. Nashville Predators for over a decade. That's right. Uh, UFC? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. UFC. UFC. Um, a so you, championship fights under my belt. Oh, that's look right. Out, look I, I, out. That's right. Oh, hey, I was at his office here the other day, and you had some, wasn't it B, BJ Penn? Am I saying that oh, right? Oh, yes, I was uh, BJ Penn's uh, ringside physician in his championship. Hey, how about that, Memphis. Mark? Oh, you were cool. behave, he might put the whooping on that's us. That's right. Well, what is, <laughs> what, is it that, what is this biomechanical hormone? What is that? Well, what we are is we're a preventative medicine program, and we're evidence-based, meaning that we follow the medical literature, and we're dedicated to promoting optimal mental, physical, and sexual health throughout the aging process. And all bioidentical means is that the chemicals, the hormones that we use, are identical in structure to what you make in your body naturally. Okay. So they're sometimes called natural or bioidentical. Uh, that doesn't mean anything other than chemical structure okay. so all we do is we raise the levels of your hormones mm -hmm. using a bioidentical form an exact chemical mirror image uh, to a healthy uh, level to give so that you can attain the the benefits of optimizing your hormones i got you so so mark i'll say this one one of the things that he dr nichols is talking about here when i very first went to him and i'll never forget i don't know doc if you remember this or not 
but the first one of the first visits I had with him, he walked in and he said, "Do you ever see somebody out on the highway walking up and down the highway, and a year from now you see them and they've still got the same beer belly or, or weight right. on them, right? Sure, uh, but, yeah. but yet, but yet every day you go into work, you see them walking up and down the highway, right. and I'll never forget you telling me that. And I said, and I said, yeah, I do. And you said, and I'll never forget this. You said it's because their body is working against them. It is. Touch on that a little bit. Well, as we bit. age, yeah. our hormones naturally decline. And so what you'll see with those same people, and I'll, I'll refer anyone to, to go to their local gym and look at the people that have been exercising next, next to them for the well, for the past five years. You can just look at me because I have that problem. <laughs> and they look the yeah. same now as they did five years ago. There's yeah. been no physical change in their appearance, no body composition change. Okay. So what we do with bioidentical hormones is I actually give you the tools to wear work in, will equal results out. As we age, we can put a lot of work in. A lot of women, men will starve themselves and uh, work out to no end, but yet they don't see the results, so they give hmm. up. They, they give up. They, so they start sure, the right. yo-yo dieting, and, and so they just they just ultimately give and up. I, I, and, I, and I'll tell you this from a personal standpoint. I do very little, and as I told, as I told the listening audience uh, uh, just a moment ago, I do very little exercise. Now, I, I do activity. <laughs> I do bicycle riding. I, 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 I may mow the yard with a push well, mower instead. Yeah, of you're more riding. active versus like I'm more pumping active. iron, right? Correct. But yeah. I'm not. I'm not, so to speak, pumping iron right. like a somebody you'd see on TV, the world's strongest man. So, because I think there's a misconception out there, there is. that people think, well, I got to go to the gym and I got to bench press 350 pounds and I got to curl right. 68 pounds or 70 pounds. And that's right. just not true, so, right? Once your once your body gets Optimal is that is that the right word? That that is correct. That is the, correct. The, then your body works for you right. and with you, not against you. Well, you didn't have to work that hard when you were twenty five. Right but now right. you're you're pushing fifty. The right difference. Yeah. Well, let me ask you. So now, so when you're talking about like these the hormones, are you talking like testosterone, obviously for for men, estrogen for women, or are there other things that is kind of that factor into these? Well, we are. We talk about testosterone for men okay. and women. They don't need as much as a man does, but sure. they still have it and need it. It works the same for them as it does for us. We talk about estrogen and progesterone for women, especially postmenopausal women. Okay. We talk about DHEA, melatonin, pregnenolone. Those are all other hormones. Thyroid can be optimized as well. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. And another thing too, Mark, like like people like myself that I guess I don't know if I call it stress or what, but I but I had a hard time sleeping. And man, now they've got me sleeping like a baby. Huh, interesting. <laughs> okay. I, I don't think people really realize how important melatonin is, not just for sleep, but right. the powerful anti-cancer properties that it oh, has. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah, because a lot of people will go buy like you know the little melatonin pills or something at, at Walmart or whatever to take those at night to go to sleep, or valerian root or something like that. Right? Same kind of idea. They will. They yeah. will. The thing about uh, supplements over the counter, they're considered food grade, not pharmaceutical grade. So gotcha. Okay. Their potency is not, not measured. Not as much. Right. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's uh, let's take a short break and come back and talk more with the doc here on the other side. We'll talk more about Tier 1 uh, health and wellness and just this whole fascinating concept. Uh, so we're going to take a quick break. The producers are giving me the high sign, so we'll come right back in just a minute. But if you want to talk with Anthony and the team about the uh, financial situation, if you want to uh, get the information here from the doc, we'll also give out his phone number here in just a moment. Actually, I'll let you do it. If people would like to reach out to you, what's a, a contact number? Uh, 931-520-0200. One more time? 931 931- Five two zero zero two zero zero. Well, definitely make sure you give them a call. Check them out. Uh, if you've enjoyed this uh, this program so far, as we've been talking about the uh, the health side of things with the team from Tier One Health and Wellness, go to their website Tier One HW dot com. That is Tier One HW dot com, and you'll be able to uh, research it more, look at some more information on there. You'll find the phone number as well. So again, go to Tier One HW dot com. All right, so give Anthony a call as well at 888 If you didn't get a chance to jot that down, we'll do more of that here on the other side of the program. So stick around. This is Retire the Right Way with special guest, Dr. Keith Nichols. It's time for a Tennessee tidbit. Researchers have discovered more than 3,800 documented caves in Tennessee. They also have discovered that listening to Retire the Right Way makes you 38% happier. Mm, Okay, maybe I made that one up, but it might be true. Stay tuned to Retire the Right Way and find out. 
Hey, you're back here with us on Retire the Right Way with Anthony Wright, as always here on the program. Mark Killian, your co-host, as we talk about investing, finance, and retirement. And today, we're talking about health. And uh, we've got a special guest in the studio with us, Dr. Keith Nichols of Tier 1 Health and Wellness over in Chattanooga. And so we're having an interesting conversation about uh, how he has done some of this biomechanical, am I saying this right, biomechanical hormone? <laughs> what am, I, am I saying that right or wrong? What is that again? Bioidentical. Bioidentical. Okay, there we go. Bioidentical uh, hormone work. And he's done some work with Anthony. He's worked with uh, the Titans and uh, some of the UFC fighters. So very interesting stuff here. So we're going to continue on with this conversation. If you do have, uh, as usual, you want to come in for that complimentary financial review, it's always the same. You can reach out to Anthony. No cost or obligation. 888 888- Five five seven nineteen ninety three. If you're a long time listener uh, and you haven't called in yet because you, you're always kind of just waiting for something, uh, you know, reach out as always and get yourself on the calendar. Maybe you want to come in and talk with them about some of this health stuff as well. And of course, you could always reach out to Dr. Nichols at nine three one five two zero zero two zero zero. Uh, that's nine three one five two zero zero two zero zero, and we'll give out the Chattanooga office number here in just a minute as well. So let me ask you: We were talking about the different types of hormones, Doc. You mentioned uh, testosterone, obviously. I'll just go with that one because I'm pretty sure that's my problem. But I'll I'll find out from you a little bit more. Uh, but uh, so, what are some symptoms of low testosterone? Well, uh, for a man, uh, and some of the women will have some of the same. But for a man, you can notice uh, reduced sexual des- desire, which is libido. Right. Uh, you can notice a significant decrease in the number. Number of morning erections or spontaneous erections. Uh, you can actually experience erectile dysfunction itself. Fatigue is a big one. Okay. Physical exhaustion, irritability, depression, poor concentration and memory, weight gain, uh, an increase in body fat, decreased muscle mass and strength, decreased energy, motivation, initiative and self-confidence. Those are all symptoms that a man can experience with low testosterone among others. Okay. And Mark, I'll say this yeah. too. When I when I very first started going to Doctor Nichols, you know, my doctor asked me. He he come in, my family doctor. He came in and he said, "Hey, you know, how are you doing?" And first, I was like, "Well, I'm okay," because I'm just kind of a glasses kind of half full kind of guy, right? And then all of a sudden, I was like, "Well, no," I was like, "That's not true." I was like, "I kind of feel I kind of feel depressed." If I had to be honest with you, hmm. and okay. I, and I said, and I I said, if if I had to be truthful about it, I'm I'm just kind of I, I just kind of feel depressed. Well, he had enough knowledge to, that he said, well, let's, he said, you're about to turn 50. He said, let's test your hormones. So when he tested my hormones, my estrogen was three times the rate of my testosterone. And my testosterone level was, was so low, and I'd started gaining weight around my midsection. That's correct. Right. And that's what you that's just said. That's the dangerous weight, the, the visceral the body fat, we call weight. it. That's right. Yeah. Right. And so by the time I had got over to Dr. Nichols, and my family doctor didn't know how to treat it. He didn't really know what to do. And so referred me over to dr nichols and uh so i went over to dr nichols and and uh and you helped me you helped me tremendously i'm now down 32 pounds i've lost i've lost six inches in my waist you're turning me into a titan there you go you (laughs) You know the funny thing that anthony mentioned too is we're all trained uh you know before we got into the hormone replacement Uh but we would treat depression with an antidepressant right but if that depression is due to low testosterone as it was with Anthony you give a man an antidepressant and unfortunately a lot of those antidepressants will decrease your testosterone levels even more oh, which will lead to even further depression depression so they don't work and so it's just a vicious cycle and uh, all it took was uh, restoring Anthony's hormones to a, to a healthy young level and away went the depression away has gone the fat uh, looks great. Uh, the lights come back on. Life is good again, right? right? Life is great. Well, so I'm sure a lot of people listening are probably thinking the same thing I'm thinking since we're learning about this. So is this done through? Um, is this is this done through pills? Is this done through an injection? Uh, you mentioned earlier pharmaceutical grade versus over the counter for like melatonin. Right. What what's some right. of the information there? Well, a lot of the a lot of the hormones can be taken in, in various forms. Okay. Uh, we choose testosterone can be done via an injection, mm-hmm. pellets. We use a transdermal cream ourselves. Mm-hmm. Uh, women, when it comes to estrogen, can be used transdermally or orally, as can progesterone for women. So they come in various different ways. Okay. And there are pros and cons, cons to each one. Right. And, and is there any kind of... Uh, a lot of people are going to say, well, is this, is this natural? Is this, uh, is this some sort of supplement? Like, how is, is this, you know, what kind of stuff are we talking about when we're, if we're looking into researching that for ourselves? So when we mention bioidentical, once again, we're talking about the chemical structure and the chemical structure only. Okay. Uh, they are made by pharmaceutical companies, so they're all FDA approved. Right. Uh, testosterone progesterone estrogen is made by pharmaceutical companies. So, gotcha. Okay. So, we're, so that's, they're all uh, FDA approved. 
And that's what we utilize when it comes to DHEA and it comes to the melatonin. We utilize a micronized sustained release formulation, which is pharmaceutical grade, which is much more potent than right, your right. over-the-counter supplement, which is a food grade. Right. Well, hey, this from is really a, interesting. From a, from, a, cool. from a personal standpoint, yeah. too, Mark, I'll, I'll tell you that they use a pharmacy that does compounding. Yes. So so they compound his formula that, right. he, that he will prescribe. And I can tell you firsthand that the melatonin that I take from the from the pharmacy that helps me sleep at night, mm-hmm. the stuff I was buying over the counter at, at Sam's Wholesale or any any pharmacy that you walk into, but that just happened to be the one I went to, it wasn't really doing me any good. Gotcha. But but this new pharmaceutical compounded version of melatonin, which is more pure form, right, Doc? That, it's a more pure form. That, than, the, than the over-the-counter than supplements. Than the over-the-counter that's supplements. Correct. Yeah. And the reason we, we, we compound is mm-hmm. because certain hormones will only come in a very specific dosage and if you need to use something more than that or right. even less then you you can't get that commercially so at times we'll right. we will use the pharmaceutical grade and then we will also utilize a compounded hormone well, if we need a different dosage interesting so let me sh- I'll show I mean, I'll try to not to show too much of my medical ignorance but I'm not a doctor so <laughs> I'll just got to bring this up so it kind of makes me think about my I, I'm a heart patient uh, I have, have had some heart issues and my uh, my my heart doctor kind of switched me to a pharmaceutical grade fish oil versus like the over-the-counter you know omega-3 fish oil type of thing for uh, you know more potent properties type of deal so that's kind of what your same kind of idea right it's the exact idea okay all right so and you mentioned DHA DHEA a couple times. What is that? DHEA is dihydroepiandosterone, but it yeah, is I'm a glad hormone. you said that. You said that very <laughs> nice. So DHEA, DHEA for short. But, right. you know, you wonder, well, why do I need DHEA, Doc? Sure. Well, as we age, all our hormones decline with our age. Right. All right? So we want to maintain those levels at a healthy, youthful age. So, you know, DHEA, for instance, will stimulate the immune system. It improves memory. It increases energy. It has anti-cancer properties. It uh, decreases cardiovascular risk by decreasing visceral body fat. It uh, reduces insulin requirements. It protects against osteoporosis. It improves erectile dysfunction. So uh, many things that uh, DHEA is can be used for, and we all want to we want to reap the reap the rewards of taking DHEA. Well, so tell it's me, kind of a oh, it's kind of a it's kind of a combination of everything. It's kind of like a piece of pie, right? It is. And Mark, the only reason I say this <laughs> is because you and I you and I are talking about DHEA and testosterone, right? And I know if the listeners aren't careful. They'll start thinking, well, I see these low T clinics popping Correct. up everywhere. I was just going to say, you see, like, these ads for, you know, exactly. Frank Thomas, you know, advertising the, <laughs> the big hurt, right. you know, that well, kind of stuff. We want to separate ourselves from the from the T mills and the T clinics because we're not a testosterone replacement clinic. We utilize testosterone as part, That's part of an optimization right. program, as part of a preventative medicine program. But all the individual hormones, they, they do work synergistically with each other, but they all also have their own individual protective effects their beneficial qualities and so you want to obtain all those from each of the hormones and that's what we do it's preventative medicine right we're trying to uh, increase the health span which is the age of you know your age uh, related decline in hormones will usually go yeah, right along normal yeah. with with the progression of time right we get weak frail, sure. sick as we age, and we want to maintain our health, and we want to stay healthy and strong as we age. Well, I want to take a quick second and deviate over to um, just some of the some of the clientele that you've had, because I think this might maybe help for the average listener as well. When we think about a lot of athletes and sports uh, players and things of that nature, they do have access to a lot more cutting edge, if you will, uh, you know, medicine and things than we normally do, or us regular folks out driving our cars, heading to work, so on and so forth. And so some of this might sound out there but it's really not this stuff's been around for a while right and yeah, that's why you help these athletes and you've been working with these things for for just more than just a couple of a couple of years well sure but of course uh testosterone and dhea they're they're you can't utilize those in in, in sport well, right, right no because of their testing substance. right but just think for like but right for recovery am i am i wrong there oh, yes okay. oh, no you're not you're not wrong at all but okay. but one group of uh that definitely has been onto it for many years and uh reaps the benefits are your actors, your Hollywood actors. Okay, all right. How do you think they age so gracefully? It's true. not all plastic surgery. Right. Okay, good point. <laughs> it's true. Good point, that's yeah. A good, that's a good point. And another thing I like what you're saying, too, is is it's kind of like a, uh, since since we're coming into fall here, we'll use the terminology pumpkin pie. Mm-hmm. Although, 
Dr. Nichols is sitting here in front of me, and I've lost 32 pounds, and I'm not supposed to have pumpkin pie. <laughs> but it's an analogy. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we're sure going to use an analogy yeah. so people on the radio can understand it. But right. it's like a piece of a pumpkin pie, right? You have one section. It is the DHEA. Correct. Then you have a section that's the testosterone for men, for women on a little smaller Okay. That's correct. As your lovely wife always says, we go low and slow with women. That's correct. Okay. The men, that's what makes us a man. And then there's some on their case would be like estrogen or, okay. or, or right. progesterone right. or something like that. So another one, Mark asked you about testosterone. Uh, he also asked you about DHEA. One that I take that I would like to that I would like to ask you about and explain to the audience because. I do credit testosterone as part of of part of my weight loss. I believe that's a piece of the pumpkin pie, if you would. Okay. But another piece of the pumpkin pie that I think is my weight loss is my thyroid. Oh, because, great point. Because, yeah. yeah, because Dr. Nichols did did the blood work. You you discovered my thyroid was slow, and and it whatever terminology you guys use, but you have helped me with the thyroid, right. and you have now got my thyroid working properly, and I think that's another piece of the pie. So talk about the thyroid a little well, yes, bit. Yes, uh, thyroid, it affects every cell in the body. It regulates temperature, metabolism, cerebral function, and energy. Uh, it does help protect against cardiovascular disease, cognitive impairment, fatigue, weight gain, memory loss, it improves your lipid profile, it once again will decrease your visceral body fat as well. So a lot of beneficial effects to keeping your thyroid optimal. Very nice. As you're seeing. Okay, right. now tell us a little bit about, and I know the producers are kind of telling us we're down to about, about two and a half minutes here, so we'll make this one quick. So tell us a little bit about pregnenolone. I know that's one of the what's one of the hormones. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you said that. that one. Right. Well, it's the first, <laughs> yeah, that's, it's, that's it's a the tough. first hormone made from cholesterol. So they call it the mother hormone. All your other hormones come from pregnenolone. It decreases as we age, but it's a good memory enhancer. It's really good for cognition, memory enhancement. It helps with neuronal repair when there's been injury. So pregnenolone's a, a good baseline first hormone made from cholesterol. All right, so Interesting. there you go. You know, good friend of mine, Keith Nichols, in studio with us today. And um, uh, Mark, you want to tell them how to contact uh, Doctor Nichols? Yeah, yeah, wanna, a couple ways. Would... So we've got the uh, the chat, and this is a Chattanooga office. And Doc, correct me if I have this wrong, but I think I jotted it down right. Uh, if you'd like to reach out to him, it's four two three four one seven seventeen hundred. Is that correct? That, that's it. That's okay. correct. Four two three four one seven seventeen hundred. If you'd like to learn more, uh, if you want to come in for a consultation, you can probably do that as well. And of course, uh, if any time the folks that are used to Anthony's number, if you want to call in and let Anthony's team know that you just like some more information on Doc as well, uh, they can pass that along to you. Triple eight five five seven nineteen ninety three is the normal number you hear here on the program. So feel free to reach out and talk with Anthony and his team about your own financial GPS and uh, and maybe to talk a little bit more about how to talk with Doc. Dr. Keith Nichols of Tier 1 Health and Wellness. Go to their website, tier1hw.com. That is tier1hw.com. And you'll be able to uh, research it more, look at some more information on there. You'll find the phone number as well. So again, go to tier1hw.com. I want to talk about Tier 1 on the other side, so we're going to come back. And I also want to talk about how this can be beneficial for the ladies. We've spent some time on the gentlemen. Let's talk about the ladies here on the other side. Sounds good to me. And once again, I know everybody, I know that, I know that everybody says, hey, we thought this was Anthony's financial talk show, but I just felt, I just felt it's changed my life in such a way that I felt like I really needed to get it out there to let people know. So you are listening to Retire the Right Way with Anthony Wright, Mark Killian, but we also have Dr. Nichols in studio with us today. So as Mark mentioned to you, 888-557-1993 is, uh, is my number. And if you don't write down Dr. Nichols's number, I'll be happy to tell you how to get in touch with him. All right. We'll be right back here on the program after this. Did you know Tennessee has a state slogan? America at its best. And we couldn't agree more. Keep listening to Retire the Right Way. Back here with us on Retire the Right Way for a very special edition of the program. Uh, we are talking with, uh, well, actually the team actually come to find out from uh, Tier 1 Health and Wellness. We have uh, Dr. Keith Nichols as well as his lovely wife, Angie Nichols, joining us. And, of course, Anthony's here as well. Uh, he's sitting here looking at me like uh, I'm crazy because I hadn't mentioned him yet. But uh, we're, <laughs> we're having a good conversation. A really interesting uh, different take today on the program. As always, we talk about finance, investing, uh, retirement, all that good stuff. But today we're, instead of just the wealth, we're talking a little bit about the health 
And, uh, and Anthony's had a really interesting experience working with the folks at Tier 1 uh, Health and Wellness. So uh, it's really made a difference for him. So we brought him on to uh, discuss some of the things they do on the program today with our listeners. And, of course, as always, if you want to reach out to Anthony and Retirement Specialty Group for a consultation and a conversation about your own retirement journey uh, financially, you can do so at 888-557-1993. And uh, we're going to talk with our other guest, uh, Angie Nichols, is here as well. So, Angie, welcome. Come in. How are you? Thank you. I'm doing very well. Thanks so much. Absolutely. So I mentioned earlier, we've been talking with your husband prior to about just some of the interesting things about this whole bioidentical hormones. And uh, and we kind of took it from the male's perspective quite a bit. So we thought it'd be really cool to talk with uh, about the lady side. So what better person to talk with than you? So tell us a little bit about how things, we talked about low testosterone, for example, for man. Uh, what are some of the things that women might experience and that how this type of thing could help them? Well, women are much more complicated than men. <laughs> you don't so, say. <laughs> in many ways. Many you heard ways. it right there, folks. You heard it. <laughs> so what we do with women is it depends. The treatment for women depends on what stage of life she's in. Okay. If she's premenopausal, postmenopausal, what her goals are, if she's interested in having children or not. So we have to factor in a lot more things than we do with just men. But just like with men... You know, the hormones are what keep us strong and keep us healthy, and women are just the same. Uh, I like to use the analogy of a car. Anthony is the one of a pie. But, you know, we need, just like a car runs with oil and gas and transmission fluid and brake fluid, the hormones are the same to the human body as those things are to an automobile. So we look at progesterone. And all women need that no matter what stage of life they're in. It is a calming, mood-stabilizing hormone that offers protection against breast cancer. It is the drug of choice to treat PMS. So that's for all women. And um, then we look at estrogen, testosterone. We need it just like men do. We just don't need nearly as much of it. And uh, then all the other ones, DHEA, pregnenolone, melatonin, those all provide benefit for us just like for men too. Interesting. Okay. And so what are some things that we might, I guess, irritability, like what are some things that we think of that when men, uh, Doc was talking about, you know, obviously low sex drive and uh, lack of focus, um, the weight around the midsection. Are there symptoms that you tend to see uh, from women that are similar or different? Sure. A lot of them are similar because women uh, past menopause, especially, start to notice it's much more difficult to get rid of that weight, especially around the midsection, because as Anthony said, uh, your body is fighting against you. Right. So whenever women lose their estrogen, they will begin to lose the ability really to lose weight as they did when they were younger. So it makes it much more difficult. So a lot of times women are just fighting an uphill battle past menopause. So it, it's critical to get the estradiol levels back in a good range. Also, just for the cardiovascular protection and the, to protect your bones, women past a certain age will start to develop osteoporosis because of the lack or loss of estrogen and also progesterone. You know, my wife has been a different person. I've lost 32 pounds, mm-hmm. but Maria's down 21 or 22 pounds. Awesome. Okay. And, you know, the old saying goes, happy wife, happy life. Oh, sure, yeah. Right. And Mark, you know that you're married. Angie and Keith know that. I mean, it takes both couples. Right, Angie? Right. I mean, Absolutely. you can't you, you can't just get the man optimal. I mean, you can if that's what he wants. But if you get the man optimal, it, it's good to get the wife involved in it also, because then you got both husband and wife. Oh, that sure. Are both yeah. optimal. And they're both healthy. They're both feeling better. Right. Exactly. Everybody needs to be on the same level playing field, because if you have one person that's got a lot of energy and they want to get out and go climb to the top oh. of the out mountain and enjoy things and getting out and the other person wants to stay home on the couch and has no interest that can create imbalance and create problems so everybody should be on the same yeah that's yeah that's a whole other can of worms right there right Mm -hmm. yeah and that's basically you know that's basically what happened with with maria was my which is my wife when i she started seeing things in me and started seeing my energy level go up and then she's she's like well hey you know i want my energy level to be there right and so and so that that led to both maria and i and of course we have an eight-year-old and we have five grandchildren i just had a new grandson born yesterday i saw that that's right (laughs) congrats 
Yeah, so it, it you know all these things happen to keep us healthy and to keep us young and keep us That's energetic. The key. And yeah, That's, I mean you know it's not looking. We're not trying to you know live to be a hundred years old, but we want to preserve the best quality of life. Right. As for as long a period of time as we can, so that you can get out and play in the yard with your grandchildren. Sure. And you can go out and sightsee with your spouse and you know enjoy life right. and. That you brought up irritability earlier because that is when women lose their progesterone, that's one of the things. And women, when they go through menopause, you know, oftentimes it's beyond their control and they're sort of like, what is happening to me? You know, mm-hmm. I, I don't want to feel this way, but we're kind of a slave to the hormones, really. Right, right. Yeah, well, I kind of got in trouble the other day, Mark, because because i did something in the yard i think i mowed the yard wrong and i blew all the grass over like in the in the shrubs Uh uh-huh and so my wife kind of fussed at me, and I said, "Have you taken your progesterone?" Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh lordy, uh, yeah, you're opening up a can of worms. Are better left <laughs> That's right. That is right. <laughs> well, and I got in trouble. So, well, so all the men listening, you know, don't 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 ask your wife if she's taking her progesterone. There, yeah, now. Well, let, let me. <laughs> oh, we know if we need it. We but, we know we don't have to be told. There you go. <laughs> well, let me let me take this from a standpoint for a lot of our longtime listeners and people who t- tune into the show for the financial stuff. And again, we're, we're just doing something a little different this week by bringing our guests on. We certainly appreciate their time. But, you know, Anthony and I talk many times on the show how we are living longer. Obviously, uh, you know, when we tie it back to Social Security, the fact that people weren't expected to live to 85 and still be pulling on Social Security, all those things, you know, that we really haven't changed that information. Uh, we didn't back the ages up for Social Security as we started living longer, which we probably should have, and then Social Security wouldn't be in such the pickle that it's in. But I digress. The point being is that we we are living much longer and we do want to live more actively and we are living more actively. So this might just be another piece that kind of help us. Uh, I don't know what the 60 is the new 45 kind of thing, right? Yeah, I would agree with that. And I think Absolutely. Angie, you would agree with that too. When mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, it, it really is. And people are living longer. And when you get your, when you get your hormones balanced out where your body is working in conjunction with you then it then it works of course yeah. i mentioned the piece of the pie you mentioned the car earlier but one piece of the pie is diet i mean you obviously have to eat better i, right. I do eat better but one thing i would say is 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 i feel like eating better right so right. i i feel more motivated right. to eat. Better. and you have more energy to be more active too which that's is right. another key piece of the pie yeah well, so, that's right yeah you're not talking you know like you said it's not the it's not the cure-all be-all you you don't do this and and just get to sit on the couch and eat cheetos right <laughs> it still have right. to be and, and sleep sleep is important sleep and is stress important, management right. right exactly so all those things factor in like anything it comes to uh having a good healthy life you know and so we're so willing to take um well i guess we're sure to say we're, we're well we are typically willing to take risky investments a lot of times anthony will see some of that when people come in but it does and Anthony, we talk about this all the time that people aren't willing to invest sometimes in their health and their longevity and, and that, i think that's kind of interesting do you see that angie and what you guys do yes I, I have seen it uh something that comes to mind is years ago when i was doing home health we had a couple that had moved down from up north they had sacrificed and worked really hard all of their lives so that they could retire they bought a motor home and they wanted to travel across the united states and and see all the wonderful sights and do a lot of things and so they had delayed all those years but then once they got here he developed lung cancer they had one trip in the motorhome and within six months he had passed away and then shortly thereafter the wife also developed lung cancer oh wow and so they had worked all their lives made the sacrifices made the plans but they had not taken care of themselves they were both heavy smokers and unfortunately they just never got to enjoy the fruits of their labor wow so you know i heard someone say you'll either invest in your future i mean in your health now or you will end up paying later right and that's a good saying that's the thing and it's not fun sometimes you know to get out and exercise when you don't want to or right or avoid some of the unhealthy things. But, but, you know, one thing Angie has taught us, Mark, me and Maria, is you've always said it's, and I think I said it earlier when your husband was, was on, it's not necessarily really about go exercise at the gym. It's just be active. It's it's go hike Lookout Mountain right. or go up in the Smokies and take a hike. Go out in the yard and do flowers. Just be active, right, right instead right. of instead of, because a lot of times when people hear, 
stuff like that. They think, well, I got to go to the gym. It's not necessarily go to the gym. It's just get active. And when you get their hormones balanced, like you did me and Maria, we have the energy to. Right. I started to say that's the key. Yeah. Because if someone's hormones are not in good ranges, we could talk to them till we were blue in the face of what needs to happen. But if you don't have the energy to do that. Yeah, and no, it's that's a great point. An uphill battle. That's that a is, that is point. that's a fantastic point. Well, uh, I tell I you what, I, I really appreciate you being here with us, uh, Angie, and spending some time with it's us, been talking my to pleasure. us. Yeah, thank you for having me. Absolutely. And what I'm going to do to wrap up the program, I'm going to bring uh, Keith back in just to talk a little bit about the business. We certainly again appreciate Angie's time on here, Angie Nichols, and and so Doc, uh, Doctor Keith, I'm going to ask you just to, uh, just to tell us a little bit about some of the research you guys do, some of the things you guys do. Uh, obviously, we talked about a lot of the components here of the. Uh, bioidentical hormones, but tell us a little bit about Tier 1 Health and Wellness, your practice. Well, sure. Not only do we want to optimize men and women's health and and maximize their function, but we're also interested in research. So we have a center for for research, and we have hired a research director by the name of Dr. Scott Howell, who's a brilliant individual. But our focus presently is on the effect of the endocrine disrupting chemicals, which are the toxins in our environment from the plastics uh, that are, are affecting our ability to produce and utilize the hormones that we do make. Hmm. So we're fo- I'm focused on specifically the effect of these EDCs on the androgen receptors. So this is why men can have a normal level of testosterone per se, but still have the symptoms of a deficiency. Because unless that hormone can actually bind to the receptor, it can't exert a response. So you can have plenty in the when you measure the blood levels, but if there's any interference at what we call the cellular level, then you'll have you will experience deficiency. So that's that's really one of the big areas of our research. And, uh, you know, uh, what's happening over the last several decades to men is, is, is terrible in the fact that we're producing less than we ever have, but our needs have not diminished at all as men. So we're producing less than ever, and our ability to use what we have is being interfered with at the cellular level from these environmental toxins. So that's the focus of our research. Really and you know why 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 you're on this on this subject, Doctor Nichols? I I happen to watch your podcast, and for those of you that are listening today, he does he has a podcast. Is it? I think on Facebook or YouTube, but it, they can they can find it right YouTube. Right, correct. And, and um, but you were talking about that yeah. very thing, how it's like in the shampoo we use, it's in the deodorant sure. we use, absolutely it's in the soap. It's all these things that introduce themselves to our bodies that we don't even think about. You don't even think about. You can't see it, feel it, touch it, but but they're there. And, and everything from your makeup, uh, to your other cosmetics, your shampoo, your your shaving gel, you, you name it. You're, you're the fire retardant on the seat that you're sitting in. Huh. We're exposed to all these chemicals, but yet we really don't know what they do because most of them are not tested. Yeah, uh, and I found you know, and I found that interesting, and I and I and I also found it interesting that one of the first things you did when I when I come to you and you really helped get me straightened out because I my muscles were hurting and I was sore. Well, as it turns out, it was the statins mm-hmm. that my family practitioner had put me on for triglycerides and cholesterol and and those types of things. And you actually were telling me that because of all this research that you guys are doing that only one out of a hundred statins actually help and then it cuts the testosterone in half or something like that? That's correct. Uh, statins, the numbers needed to treat, which are the number of people you need to treat in order for it to exert an effect, and even one, is one in 100. One in 100. One so in 100. You have to treat 100 people with wow. statin to have one person respond. I uh, think that, unfortunately, we're not taught in medical school the beneficial effects of our hormones and how cardioprotective testosterone can be, along with estrogen hmm. and even thyroid. And you're talking about things like simvastatin, pravastatin, things that we, we prescribe are. for uh, cholesterol, like for heart patients like myself. We are, and they actually uh, increase the risk of diabetes when you're on a statin because they cut your testosterone down. And when you cut your testosterone down, in comes the visceral body fat, increase in body fat, decrease in lean muscle mass, and here comes the type 2 diabetes. Interesting. Interesting. That's interesting. So all that the chemicals is. really do play all the, uh, the the hormones and the various different things that we have in our body. Uh, it really is a symphony going on in there, isn't it? It, it actually is. I, I don't think we're going to see it in my lifetime, the discovery of everything that's going on, because there'll be a lot of resistance from the from the companies that produce sure, these yeah, chemicals, yeah. Uh, just like the tobacco industry with tobacco. Right. But nonetheless, uh, every every week, almost every day, there's a new article, a new some new research coming out showing the effects of these EDCs on our endocrine system. But hopefully in my lifetime, we will see these effects be factored into our treatment of these individuals. Wow. 
Well, you know, Anthony, I think we're about out of time for this week's show, but man, this has been incredibly fascinating. Uh, Doc, I'd love if you and, and your wife would join us again sometime on the program. It's been really interesting. We'd learn to love more. Oh, it's our pleasure. Thank you so very much. Absolutely. Yeah, so. Anthony, as we depart this week, uh, just uh, give us your final thoughts. Absolutely. You know, once again, I just want to remind people that I know you're accustomed to hearing us on a financial show. And as a financial advisor, we, we have a fiduciary responsibility to our clients and to our listeners. And, you know, it's changed my life. It's changed my wife's life. It's it's changing people's lives all around the world. I, I open the show by telling you that uh, they're, they're dear friends of mine as well. And I happen to know that they've had people fly in from all around the world to come in and see them. When I watch their podcast, it's people all around the world. And, and they're, they're flying in from Australia and Austria and I don't all kinds of places. And they're getting healthy. And Dr. Nichols and, and Angie are keeping people extremely healthy and they're and they're doing a great job at it so with that mark i'll toss it back over to you i appreciate i appreciate keith and angie you guys being in studio with us today thanks for everything you've done in my life and my wife's life and and those that are listening i encourage you to call get healthy get yourself optimal and mark i'll toss it back over to you and let you tell them how to contact everybody. yeah absolutely so we definitely appreciate everybody's time this week a little different show on the retire the right way program with anthony wright uh, so if you are interested in learning more about bioidentical hormones and you want to talk with the team at tier one health and wellness dr keith nichols and angie nichols as well you can call them at 931-520-0200 that's 931-520-0200 or the chattanooga number is 423 423- 417-1700 again that's 423-417-1700 go to their website tier1hw.com that is tier1hw.com and you'll be able to uh, research it more look at some more information on there you'll find the phone number as well so again go to tier1hw.com And as always, you can reach out to Anthony and his team at Retirement Specialty Group. Let them know you'd like more information as well. Find them online at retirementspecialtygroup.com. Again, that's retirementspecialtygroup.com. You can also uh, check out Anthony and the team at 888-557-1993. That's 888-557-1993. We'll get back to our regular program next week, talk a little bit more about the, uh, the finance and investing as we usually do. But it's always good to think about not only your wealth, but also your health. We hope you enjoyed this side of the program, and we'll see you next time right here on Retire the Right Way. Information is for illustrative purposes only and does not constitute tax, investment, or legal advice. Always consult with a qualified investment, legal, or tax professional.